Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. So we're out for a little tour today, and we come across a sawmill, an old Welbeck, a shingle mill sawmill. It's pretty cool. It says, visitors, welcome. There's nobody here, but we checked in at the uh, store up the road, and they're like, yeah, go on and have a look. I'm okay. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's get a shot of the outside here. This is still run by the river. And like a water turbine. I'd love to see it going. But uh, anyways, we'll look at the we'll look down here first. There's one of the old turbines, I guess, in that building there. We'll have a check of that after too. Uh, let's see. It's pretty cool. We can probably get all up inside there and look at everything. But there's the power source right there. And uh pretty cool. Pretty cool. Even run something off a big gear there, off a chain or something. So this looks like it's probably strong enough. I don't see any fish. Not a lot of water in there, but somehow it all works, I guess. So well, that's pretty cool. We got. Uh, we can go right inside. Don't touch the poison ivy plants. No. Okay. Now we can go inside here, and uh, I think we can even eventually get right downstairs here. So this is kind of cool. This is where all the stuff ends up, I guess. We'll have a look at that in a minute, though. So let's go upstairs. Oh, we'll have a look at this turbine where she is over here first. This looks like a retired turbine. Probably just for display. Caution, poison ivy. But just don't lick your hands. You're fine. Wow, this is pretty old. Pretty cool how these things worked. Yeah, neat old turbine. Barber turbine, there you go. Wow. It was for um, binder twine. Binder, huh. And then they, the enterprise failed and they sold it to the sawmill. Oh, well, power's power, I guess. Well, let's head her inside. Look, a leaf is falling, a leaf is falling. A parachuting leaf, and he's down. All right, well, let's go inside here. We've got a couple of ways we can go, I think. There's two staircases. We'll go to the far one, though, because it's pretty cool. But you can see the saws and everything inside. Actually, that door there is closed, so we'll go in this far door. There's like an old grinder wheel or something. I don't really know what that's from, but they're, uh, de they don't do stuff on Saturdays here, so I'm like, oh, I can't get up through the week. Well, we came up Saturday and they're like, oh yeah, go on inside, no problem. It's just out's open. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I uh, can't really see, but the river's under here somewhere. There's some of the stuff they got kind of ready to go. Showing you some of the big slabs are cutting these shingles out of cedar shakes, if you will. And there's little things all over the place you can open up and well. Sort of open up. Little belt systems all over the place too. It's, I love these places. I could just be here all day. There's a rust light from Rust. That's exactly pretty much what we have in Rust in the game. So that's cool. Now, what's over here? Oh, it's just a room. Oh, it might be locked. We can look through the tiny little window. There's a new, new saw blade in there. A couple saw blades. Just in case. But here's the big saw anyways. I'd love to see it going at one of these times. It'd be kind of cool. I don't know what all this does. It looks like that's your pusher there for, I don't know. And this one is like, yeah, zing. Everything's gonna go down, looks like there, and into the basement. So we're gonna go check that out too. But over here, I thought this was really cool. I really wanted to turn the handles, but she said, no, don't do that. Don't do that. But look at this here. This was cool. Let's look at this here. What's in here? Look at the belts in here. Can you see the belts? Holy jumping. Let's look at the belts this way, maybe. There's your main drive belts. <laughs> Holy jumping. And that goes way downstairs there, so don't fall. I don't know what's back in there. That's just going outside again, I think. Yeah. I think it just goes back outside. Yeah. 
even make their own doors. I love this. This is so awesome. Their own door handles and stuff. And uh, that looks like, I don't know what that is. Looks like a big banjo up there. <laughs> belt guard maybe or something. Yeah, it looks like a belt guard. Look at this here. I'm going to go down there after. Hopefully this comes out right here, but this is pretty cool. This is where all the water comes in, I guess, here and runs that turbine. And then you adjust everything with these, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of new to me, but this kind of moves here and looks like it opens a valve down there or something. Like this is cable to that big thing there, which turns that big shaft. I better not turn it. No, I better not turn it. No, I won't do that. And, uh... Start spinning that turbine, I guess, with the water. And then it must gear it up a whole bunch till it gets to, like, you know, speed. It looks like this does something, too. Comes down. Holy man, this is pretty pretty awesome in here. That looks like a brake, actually. That must lift up. That's, that. that's a brake system right there because it's going right on that on that uh, wooden pulley there. So that pushes to there. And then it counterbalances. <laughs> this is pretty cool how they got all that set up. So you'd have to probably pull that thing down. Get that to release and then it would start to turn. So I got her all figured out. We're ready to saw. Let's go. You load the logs. No. I'll get her spinning. Look at the size of that freaking holy in there. <laughs> a freaking holy? Oh. That thing's massive, pipe wrench. All right. One person staircase. Let's go downstairs here and see where everything ends up. This is interesting because this is all new for here. So this is where it kind of turns more modern. But uh, the rest of it's all nice wood. It's really cool down here though. No smoking. So, so wherever that shot down there, I guess they shoot into here. And there's your your shingle piece. Some are bigger, some are, you know, you do one small one, one big one. These look like all smaller ones here. Smally guys. And then there's some bigger ones here. See how they're categorizing. Look at them all bunched up there. They didn't even empty these out. What'd you find? They got the different shapes that they can make. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you could have round ones or pointies or whatever you want. You must have another saw somewhere for that. Something going on in here, but I don't know what. It looks like something Sorters. Something drops down here. That's the other shoot there, I guess, that we saw upstairs there, maybe. That's shoot C. Shoot C. Shoot C. And I don't know if this is a shaper machine or what, but something's definitely running off the belts here. <gasps> They're cheating! I don't think they use water anymore because they got a big electric motor here running stuff. <laughs> They're cheaters. Cheating. But that's all right. Try to get away from the old stuff. Yeah, that's what that is. It's running It's running the electric motor to that shaft to those big belts that we saw there, which run the rest of it. So that whole water system isn't even hooked up, but it's just there for the authenticity, I guess, right? Shoot so. A and B. So this is all the scrap stuff, fire fire stuff for your for your Kindling. traction engine, kindling wood. Yeah, yeah, they're bundling it and selling it to you now. They bundle up the sawdust too. They bundle up the sawdust. That's must be it there. That's pretty freaking cool. Oh yeah, look at all in here. Holy jumping! They've been sawing a bit. Oh, the sound absorption is so weird. When you would say something out here, talk out here, blah, 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 and walk in there and say something. Hello. It doesn't mean it stays there. <laughs> That's weird. So, yeah, bales. Bales of sawdust. Those would get all over the place. <laughs> here, take that down 30, 30 miles down the road. There'd be nothing left of it. It'd be all gone at the back of the truck. Lift it. I dare you. Lift it. I don't, wouldn't so want it don't. to fall apart. Oh, well, yeah, that's a little more different. Heavy. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. One-handed. <laughs> so there's the other side. Maybe we can sneak down there. There's some machinery up there, too. I want to go look at, too. So, Well, that's pretty cool. Can we actually open this door? It just slides, doesn't it? It sure does. We'll come back in here after. That's already cool down there. Oh, man, it's like 10 degrees hotter out here. So, well, I guess they got some of the water still coming down the, the chute here. But I don't think they actually use it now for the... Oh, this is really cool. You gotta look at this. It goes all the way down there. Oh, my goodness. What a thing to build, eh? And keep all the... It's like a humongous barrel. It's a huge barrel. A, a wooden tube. 
it just used plastic now. Go down there and have a look down there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's neat. They must just keep the turbine going, but it's not actually hooked to anything now. Which that totally makes sense, but and this is a big sawmill, that's for sure. This looks like it's hydraulic driven. Hydraulic driven or PTO driven. Wow. Well, this is actually the the blade in through here, but Oh, that's a big mother blade in that one. That's probably about as thick as a chainsaw would cut out, so you can waste a lot of lumber with them. But for doing the big stuff, I guess they still use it. It's still kind of grimy. Yeah, it's but it's uh, it's got to have a PTO. So, oh, there it is on this end. Oh, we could hook the 110 up to this and run this easy. Start sawing these big logs. There you go. The PTO. That's pretty neat. Looking like she's going to need some new belts soon, though, bud. Yeah. A little bit. Go until they break. Yeah. So this must uh, lift this whole thing up and then bling, cut the logs or something. Or cut the... I don't know. I'd love to see it run. It must drive. Yeah, it drives the thing in. They've been using it, I guess, because this is somewhat fresh. Oh, yeah, that's fairly fresh still. Oh, you found the water. Okay, gosh, there's even more to look at. Sweet. Stuff like that, I guess they're cutting. I don't know. Cutting, you know, like buzzing. Not really not really lumbering, I don't think. That's a chopping saw, that thing. So they chop these big things and run them through the, the mill, I guess. What'd you find? That's why it goes so well. It's got a plastic tube in it, doesn't it? No. Oh. No. Oh. 2016, that's fairly fresh. Wow, look at that junk in it, though, eh? Yeah, down into the tube. And then right down the tube. <laughs> Looks like I got clean and stuff, though. Clean all the junk out so the flow gets better. I guess when they need more, they'll take a... Take a border tube dewey out and flows in more, and then down the thing she goes and turns the turbine. Well, that's pretty cool. It's fairly deep in there. It's actually down a bit, though, it looks like. Yeah. Let's go do laps. No laps. No. No laps. No. Okay. No, probably not. <laughs> Let's go inside once more. Have a quick look around again, because that's pretty awesome. And uh, it's pretty cool that they just gonna let you come and go whenever you want. I'd love to see it running though one day. But they says they don't do it on the weekend, so I'm like, oh, really bad. We might find more cool stuff. You never know. Oh, well, here leaking. Then you gotta account for that too. But I guess if you keep it wet in there, maybe it would stay swelled out. But eventually that stuff's gonna rot down, right? So, looks like they got a bit of a furnace in there too. Or something. Holding up the building, maybe a yeah, furnace. That's kind of cool, actually. Can you look in there? I wonder if this is opened. Any mouse in here? Oh, generator. That's what this is. Oh boy, this is a scary floor. <laughs> oh, so they're running a diesel generator here. That's what that is. Diesel generator. We're running belts or something. So that's an engine running a shaft on the other side. So that's their power, probably. Let's go. Let's not fall through their floor here. Let's go back inside and see if we can see where that pulley's coming through there. There we go. This is so awesome. I need one of these places just, just because. Just because. So that's coming through there and running something over there. So yeah, that shaft's coming through that wall. Running, could run a belt off of that, flat belt. How would you get a flat belt under there now? <laughs> you have to split the belt, I guess. Rejoin it, that would work. And that's running something there. It's coming through into the sawdust room here. Maybe it's running the baler thing here. No, that's just running... Running straight through. Okay. That's interesting. Straight through, straight through. 
to the belt. So they're actually, okay, so what is this electric motor then? Huh. Well, it's belted right from that motor, right through to here, to the saws upstairs. This is a huge electric motor right here. I believe that's what that is. But, um, yeah, look at the dust in the, in the pulley. <laughs> and that's a big motor of some sort. It looks like a gear reduction, maybe, or something. And uh, then upstairs to the other equipment. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's pretty nifty. You know, smooth and wore off. This is actually shiny from people coming up and down over the years. That's awesome. I love these kind of places and like feed mills and stuff are like this where there's just little passages all over the place. So this actually doesn't do anything anymore then. It, um, at least I don't think so. Unless sometimes they run it on power off the water. And if the river is low, then they run it off the motor maybe. Because it still looks like it's all active. You just have to open it up. Oh, that's so cool. Anyways, pretty cool little sawmill. We tried to look in here, but just extra blades, remember? Yeah. The equipment. Well, there's a sharpener, it looks like, for the blades. Looks like a sharpening machine. There's lots of blades in there. <laughs> yeah. Big Rapids, Michigan. There you go. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, well, that's awesome. Love these places. But I guess that's about it for today. We left this door open, I guess, till the weather gets bad, maybe. And uh, there is another lofty thing up there. But I don't know what's up there. It doesn't really look like anything, but they do have that kind of blocked off with stuff there, so we won't go there. But anyways, there we go. That was a cool little tour. Awesome. Is that one of the pipe things demonstrating that big tube coming in outside? I bet you that's what this is. Kind of demonstrating what they look like. That's pretty cool. It's tuby. Tubes. There you go. All right, well, that's it for today, I guess. Pretty cool little sawmill. Just thought we'd stop and have a, a look at it, and they said, go on and have a look. So that was awesome. <laughs> the Wellbeck Shingle Mill. And they do have a big sawmill here somewhere, too, but um, I'm not sure where it is. So anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.